Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be talking about dot plot matrix or sequence comparison. So this is a very important topic considering, uh, considering the subject for bioinformatics. So we'll start off with this topic. So talking about dot matrix, so there are some of the important technologies that are used here. So dot plots are used to visual, uh, used to visually compare to sequence and detect of regions of close similarity between them. So I'll be showing you a practical example in this video. So how these uh, regions are closely connected or similar to each other. Also, two sequences can be arranged along two axes, so which are mainly y and x. And at every point where the two sequences are identical, a dot is placed. So this is where the importance or uh, this is where the implementation of dot matrix comes into play. So wherever we find any sort of identity or similarity between two sequences, we place a dot. Also a diagonal stretch of dots will indicate regions where the two sequences are similar. So a stretch of dots, a lot of dots that are created diagonally, that are formed diagonally, will show that the two sequences are very much similar. So moving on with this. So as you can see, uh, this is one sequence, and this is another sequence. So we'll just place a dots when the two sequences are same at a point. So if we consider this point, so these are same because A and A is same at this point. Also T and T is same at this point, all right? G and G is same at this point, all right? But T and G is not same at this point. A and G is not same at this point but it is same at this point. Whereas it is same, C and C same at this point. Also A and A are same at this point. Also G and G are same at this point. Also T and T are same at this point. So these, so basically this, this has a lot of similarity and this T is an extra base pair in this sequence, all right? So also we can find many sort of sequences like, like A and A are here similar as well. G and G are here similar as well as you can see G and G here. So lots of again we find here A and A are similar. So there are lots of dots can be placed according to the similarity of the sequences. So these basically lead to formation of diagonals as we found a diagonal here as you can see. So these uh, this so uh, this show that this particular sequence this particular two sequences are very much similar or identical to each other as we know. The base pairs are same, all right. So dot matrix is uh, implemented thus in this way to show the similarity between the two sequences, all right. So if uh, if you are asked to show sequence uh, similarity between two sequences via dot matrix, so this is the way you are supposed to do, all right, by placing dots at every possible points wherever you see a similarity. As you can see, G G here corresponds here also. Uh, there is some some sort of similarity if there if we place it at t so t and t are somewhat they are similar to each other also t and t are similar to each other here t and t matches also here t and t matches so you can place as many dots as you find similar regions all right so moving on with so as you can see uh, we found uh, pretty much similar sequences at this point this range as in this sense we uh, just demarcated this area with a diagonal a identical diagonal as you can see all right so this identical identical diagonal shows that but this two sequences are pretty much similar all right there are other dots as well so which uh, point similarity regions which uh, point to similar regions so moving on with this so as you can see there's another comparison that has been done so this way there we have formed three sorts of three diagonals as we formed we have formed a straight diagonal here which shows that this, this sequence has a complete similarity between the two sequences. Also, we have found diagonals at here and here at the left and the right hand side of the center diagonal, as you can see here. So, there's one more thing that you can label it. Now, you see that uh, this is the center diagonal and this is these two are the direct repeats. All right. So, if you can label it, these are direct repeats. These are DR and these are identical diagonals. All right. This is labeled as identical diagonals, whereas this is labeled as direct repeats. All right, these two diagonals. This was 
think also dot mutation point mutation so when we study about point mutation such as if we take uh, such as this t becomes one more t all right so we just we have included t here because of showing you the point mutation thing so if it mutates to some other base pairs or it adds another base pair then how it would look like so this is this is how it would look like all right so t and t matches here and a, a and somewhat T matches here. So this is how it's done. So this is not very much of importance. Point mutation. So basically I have just added a T here. You can just remove this T. Or you can just remove this both of these T and just add a vacant space here. Add nothing here. Or you can add some different base pair. Like you can replace it by G or C or A. Anything. Alright. So this is what the point mutation was. And accordingly you can place dots. That similar region. Alright. So according to point mutation, if I uh, removed any sort of sequences or keep this place vacant or this place vacant and or substitute it with other base space, so we'll find that uh, there are some of the points which are uh, which have no dots. So dots are in similarity. So previously, if we considered that particular sequence which had dots and the mutated sequences now don't have dots because they're mutated. Uh, due to substitution, deletion, or addition of base pairs. So this is these uh, these are uh, these some of these points which do not have the dots uh, as compared to the original sequences because they mutated. So these points are known as point mutations. All right. So these these can be this point. So these points. So you have to just check according to the previous sequence which of the points have dots, which of the points don't have dots. So which of the points don't have dots? These points are mutated. And these are named as point mutation, as you can see. All right, and this is the main diagram as said. So this is the thing. This is the gap theory. You can also put gaps in everything. So this was about the total dot matrix that I needed to explain you all. So that's it from the video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.